guys, John Haas here at Warrior Fitness Gym in Hainesport, New Jersey. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please make sure you go to warriorfitness.org, sign up for the mailing list, get your free ebook, and uh, you get also tons of cool content. So do yourself a favor, sign up for that. Um, one of the questions that I get a lot has to do with flexibility of the hips and opening up the hips, whether it's uh, for Budo for martial arts, uh, specifically, of course, for my Bujinkan friends, or if it's just for, you know, health in general, because opening up the hips will, you know, help you relieve some low back pain. Um, it'll also help your knees. It's good for, it's good for mobility and just your, your general movement. So with that in mind, here's a couple of things that I usually do um, on a regular basis to try and open up my hips and I've shown it to countless clients and students and they've had success with it as well. So I figured I'd share it with you. So first thing is mobility. And what we're gonna do is kind of alternate between mobility and flexibility. So the range of motion and then the stretching exercises. So first things first, if you um, are not used to moving your hips, you're gonna have to get used to it, okay? Don't do it in front of people if you're embarrassed, but uh, make sure you get used to doing this mobility drill. So just, just very general hip circles, and then as you get more specific, I'm gonna spare you, I'm not gonna face the camera, but as you get more specific, you can isolate the pelvis and start to roll the pelvis up, and then tilt the pelvis back. So tilt it back, roll it up, tilt it back, roll it up, and then also tilt out, show you this from this way, to the side, so reach all the way, and the arms go in the opposite direction, and then again, reach all the way, and the arms go in the opposite direction, and then put all of those ranges together into a little uh, Elvis pelvis type thing. Okay, so you want to do about 15 to 20 of those in each direction. Then what we're going to do is take your feet, if you can, put them out straight, and then from here, you want to squat down as low as you can. Okay, put the hands on the knees, keep the balance. Try and keep your back straight, okay? It kind of defeats the purpose if you're rounding your back. You want to try and keep your back straight. So from here, again, squat down as low as you can, hands on the knees, and then you're going to start to twist to one side. I'm pushing on this leg to keep it open. Twist to one side, press on the knee, come back to the middle, press on the other side. Twist, twist the spine, turn the head, press on the knee to keep it open. From this position, now you're gonna, before you do that, come back, do a couple hip circles to loosen that up, then go back, okay? Go back to this position, see if your range is slightly improved, do another twist to either side, and then you wanna try and roll your pelvis, it's gonna be a much smaller range of motion, but up and back, up and back. Twist again, then come up, shake it out a little bit, and again, do a couple hip circles to kind of release any uh, tension in the area. Okay? So you're going to work that a couple times. And then when you feel more comfortable, 